All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, today is March 10th. This is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Um, on the agenda for today, we have uh, review this site, um, remove Jenkins is the way uh, on the, well, actually, sorry, remove Jenkins is the way Jumbotron on the Jumbotron, and then discuss about Jenkins is the way hosting update GSOC and CDCon 2022. On the on the Jenkins is the way site hosting, could we put or on the Jumbotron topic, could we put a subtopic there? Yep. Um, adding CDCon to the yes. uh, Jumbotron, or actually CDCon plus Contributor Summit to the Jumbotron, and adding uh, Jenkins Awards, or maybe we should have a separate topic for Jenkins Awards that I can bring so that so that you're aware of it. I've got the action item today to do some things on it. So maybe that's on the right here. Oh, you've got it. Good. Yes. So perfect. So long as we talk about it there. That's great, Alyssa. Thanks. Um, okay. All right. So add CDCon to the Jumbotron. Was... Oh, and contributor sure. summit. Yeah. And you're okay if I do some typing while you're typing as well in that in those meeting notes, right, Alyssa? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Um, so this first item, I think the last time we talked that you're going to do it a pull request. It was pending. Uh, yeah. Okay. The update is I made the pull request and it has been updated. Uh, what we just need to make a note of, uh, I removed the, uh, the sections that were not relevant anymore. But so that means that if we do these projects again, we'll have to go in the Git history to uh, find the information back. So uh, for me, this action item is closed. Okay. I had, a, I had an open question there mentally for me is, we, we tend to use historical pages in other places. Would it be okay if we used a historical page here? Do either of you object to the concept of a historical page to record old outreach programs that we ran and have completed? No, I think it's the, it's a very good idea. Okay, all right, yeah. so no objections to that, great. Yeah. No, I think, uh, do I start it? Well, yeah. Yeah, if, if you don't Otherwise mind creating we'll it, John Mark, if yeah. you don't mind creating it, that's great. If you can't for now or or have other things, it, it could wait. It's just, I've, I've liked historical pages as a way, but then you have to think about how do you navigate the page and where does it sit in the in the structure? And there are several different ways that the site does it right now. So it's it's not a perfect G, everybody always does it this way on the Jenkins.io site. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll write it as an action item for me and, and we'll come uh, with a proposal for that. Uh, that's a good idea. Didn't think of it. Removing is easier <laughs> than migrating. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, John Mark. Um, all right, so we talked about removing Jenkins is the way on the Jumbotron. And so we want to replace that with CDCon and the Contributor Summit. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I got approval from the governance board yesterday in board meeting that we're approved to put a, a Jumbotron entry for CDCon. And Oleg's suggestion was we ought to make it a combined single entry that is CDCon plus the Jenkins Contributor Summit and then we will fill in the blanks for the details of the Contributor Summit as time goes forward. But it's, it's much more interesting for a Jenkins user. They don't just care about CDCon. We want them to care that it's CDCon and a Contributor Summit. So I, like, I liked his argument. I thought it was a very good, good approach. Mark, I had this as an action item. I was not able to do that to discover how this Jumbotron works and how to adapt that. So if, if you can just give me a hint, uh, what is the page to look for or, or and, and then I can start well, looking. John, Mark, that. if you'd be okay, what if you and I just plan to pair on it? Because that way we do it yeah. together. 
we explore it together. And when you have questions, we can talk about the questions that way. There's a better, if we pair, there's a better chance I'll actually do it. So a big win right. for me. And, and, and you'll, you'll have the experience as well. Maybe we set a target to spend some time tomorrow on it. Uh, tomorrow, your morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Your sure. afternoon, my morning, just because it's, I think it's probably a good 30 minute exercise for the two of us to oh. pair together to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. And, and it'll introduce you to the Jumbotron and be sure that I get it done. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll send uh, an invite if you don't mind. That'd be great. Okay. All right. Uh, next item, Jenkins is the way hosting and URL update, Mark. Yeah. Do you have an update for this yet? Yes. So, so yesterday in governance board, this is another good positive outcome of governance. Uh, had a discussion with uh, Gavin Mogan. He's comfortable that Infra has approved the proposed URL for Jenkins is the way Jenkins .io, and they've approved that it would be hosted by Netlify. And Gavin already knows how to do that. And Gavin is comfortable that he can likely get it done before the end of March. So yeah, it's an open source project. So there's no promise of anything for delivery timelines. But the way he was describing it, it sounded very doable for him. He's already done most of the work and he's even using this as a way to explore a slightly different approach. So his initial approach was convert it all to ASCII doc. And what we found is that ASCII doc, while it's very nice for a documentation person who spends a lot of time writing documentation, it's not as familiar to programmers as Markdown is. And so he's found a markdown technique that, that may let us generate the site in a very simple and elegant way, similar to how he does plugins.jenkins.io, but let people submit their Jenkins as the way stories as markdown instead of ASCII doc. Mm -hmm. So their, their programmer experience is, oh, I use markdown all the time. And, and they don't use ASCII doc. And so they have to always go read, how do you write correct ASCII doc? Whereas markdown is sort of the natural expression for most people in Jenkins pull requests or in, in pull requests in GitHub. So I think he's got the right approach and we're on track to, to have that thing ready. Removing it from the Jumbotron is good step one and he'll, he'll then put it on this other location. And Alyssa will probably need to do some, have the infra team help with some DNS manipulations in order to, to redirect from the URL that you've purchased Jenkins is the way .io to Jenkins is the way .jenkins .io. Okay. And we probably want to get that purchase of the Jenkins is the way .io site somehow eventually funded by, by Jenkins. For right now, I think it, CloudBees is just donating it. And that's, that's great, but there's no reason we can't long-term get the Jenkins project to cover it. Okay, that, that'd, be, that'd be great. So John Mark and, and Alyssa, does that seem okay to you what I've described so far? Yes. Yeah, I think it sounds great. Yeah. Only Infra is going to reach out to Alyssa? Or does Alyssa need to? Um, at this point, there's nothing for Alyssa to do at all. Uh, and if we, when we get to the point where Gavin has the new site up and running, then, then I, I suspect then it will be, they'll contact Alyssa or coordinate with her as to uh -huh. how do we do this next step? Because effectively what we're doing is taking control of the Jenkins is the way.io URL at that, or DNS entry at that point and redirecting it to one that's explicitly under Jenkins.io. Okay. Um, did you, you have something else, John Mark? No. Nope. Okay. So GSOC 2022, so our application was accepted. Um, office hours week uh, is, is being weekly and they're going very well. Um, I think as we do more of these, we get more engagement, more activity. So um, people are getting a feel for, for of it. Um, we still need more mentors and more project ideas. And we, 
yes, there's men, new mentors are slowly coming in, but nonetheless, we are very grateful. Um, I have a question where, because I'm working on, well, in the last uh, advocacy and outreach SIG, we talked about creating in a t-shirt for mentors. Um, so I did reach out to Jake and, and he's willing to help out. Um, but we need a high res image of the butler and the flag. And I looked up on the artwork page. I couldn't find that image. Do you know where I can find that, Mark? I, I don't, but let me look because if it's, if it's not already SVG, it may be complicated to get it to be very high res. Let's see. So GSOC. Oh. Okay. I'll I'll look I'll look it up while we're in the meeting here. I'll listen, try to give you a okay. pointer to it, see what we've got. All right. That'd be great. So is there anything else that you want to add for GSOC? John yes. Uh, some some housekeeping information. First, I'm currently uh, pushing a PR to update a couple of links on the main GSOC page, uh, mm -hmm. linking the uh, Jenkins online meetup meet uh, discussing, so the end of February one. So this one is now linked or will be linked on the main page. I linked also uh, the org page on the Google Summer of Code uh, site and uh, made the third modification that I don't remember. But so this some uh, site uh, cleanup. Then reading around, uh, I have a couple of action points or doubts. The first one is in the latest newsletter or, or information that Google sent us, it was said that normally we should have a mixture of large and small projects while we have only small projects. So I need to research that and is it effectively written on the rules that we need a mixture? Because oh, uh, I'm personally yeah. happy with with small ones. Yeah, and in fact, I'm not I'm not ready to subscribe to do do large projects right now just because of the the, the impact on on, on the mentoring the, the contributors and the mentors both. Right, yeah. large projects large projects are heavier weight in the same time, right? It's, it's really expecting those contributors to be full-time working on Google Summer of Code. It's the, the length of the time where they can work is different. So they can work up to end September. Oh, oh so they get it's an extra not, several months? Yes. So they start uh, mid-June and large projects can go up to, and there is a procedure to request to go over uh, in elapsed uh, for for reason. But uh, I, I need to dig into that. I made a, an action to item here for me. Uh, then it seems that during this period, coming days, weeks, uh, we should start to invite the, um, so it's the org admins that need to do, to do that is to invite the mentors to register on the uh, Google uh, on the Google site. Yeah. And the last action point. So uh, just to be sure, Elisa, are you I, looking for for this invitation, or while I'm browsing in the? I, uh, I have I have that email as well. So. Um, yeah, so I'll go through, I will go through that list that I think you're talking about right. from Google, Google's email. Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. It's, uh, okay. Here, eventually, well, I'll, I'll see how, how my, my day tomorrow works. But uh, anyway, we we'll, we we'll discuss tomorrow, uh, tomorrow your morning and we catch up and yeah. see what is left. In, in yeah. And the last point, uh, I sent out a mail a couple of minutes ago, just to be sure that um, uh, the org admins summer holidays. Uh, uh, we don't we don't have gaps uh, there that the, all all three of us are on holiday on the on the same same period. Yeah. So um, I, I'm going to see. So 
just that we list and see do we have a problem or we don't have a problem yeah 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 um you me and chris will sync up and set up some kind yeah. of schedule chris is doing a lot of heavy lifting he yes. helps a lot in uh, in managing it <laughs> Yeah. He, he's great in taking notes while I talk or try to follow the conversation. So he's a great addition. Yes, agree. So that's all housekeeping items I had uh, regarding GSOC. Okay, thank you, John Mark. And um, I'll I'll paste a link to that. The best image I've got is in the Jenkins social media uh, document. So. Um, Okay. See the social media slide. So see slide 66 of social media coverage. Got it. And I'll just put it into the into the notes here so that Jake can go get that. The, the deck is publicly, oops, the Jake, the deck is publicly readable. So he should be able to just copy from there. Now that may still not be high enough resolution for him. That I don't know. I'm never, never quite sure. My it looks great on my screen, but it may still be far too grainy for a, a good t-shirt print. Okay, so um, I think he was asking for like SVG. Right, that would be the ideal, to... and I don't have an SVG. Yeah. Although creating that as SVG might not be a not not might not be terribly difficult for someone who actually is good at creating SVGs. We have. We have the butler as SVG. What we okay. don't have, I think, is the flag portion. Yeah, and I think that that would be easy to create for someone I, who's a designer. I, I love it when people say that, and I think about how impossible it is for me to create an SVG. So <laughs> that, that's great. Well, they have the tools for it. I'm sure they can do it. <laughs> well, maybe some parts can be grabbed from the, the, the Google site. Um, all right, moving on to CDCon. So we are still planning the in-person contributor summit. Um, did you want to add anything else to that, Mark? No, we've got we've got to get the the planning started. We do have. I like the the idea that Oleg had given it governor governance board of bundling it into the Jenkins jumbotron with a link to the contributor summit page on Jenkins.io so that we get that planning started. But the, nothing more to say beyond that. Yep. We need to plan it and we're going to plan it. We're going to have some good fun with it. Oleg did note he won't be able to be attend, uh, to attend physically. Mm -hmm. uh, you can imagine that for a Russian citizen to get a visa into the United States right now may not be as easy as. Yeah, yeah, understood. Uh, awards nomination is open. Um, nomination will close on March 29th. Uh, as discussed with Mark yesterday, I would like to nominate Chris Stern for the Most Valuable uh, Advocate uh, Award. Great. Yeah. So, so that nomination progress process is, is public. And by being public, that's an interesting challenge. I've got several people I'm going to nominate. And I think, I think it's a lot of fun to, to submit nominations because you, I, I do a much better job of writing my nomination when I know other people are going to read it and it's publicly visible. <laughs> yeah, that's right. the way, yeah. yeah. So Jean-Marc, maybe you and I, we can team up on this one if you, if, if you agree with me yep. on the nomination. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, a question towards Mark. I'm not familiar with uh, the uh, uh, contributor summit. Uh, is there something I can help or should help to prepare it? I plan to organize a meeting with Bruno in the coming days. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, and and so, but uh, I'm I'm ready to help, and if necessary, I'm I'm ready also to join. Uh, Thank over you. There, so. Yeah, so we'll be, we, the, the current plan, the current idea is that we'll do a contributor summit in June at CDCon. It'll be in person, and then we'll do a contributor summit in September at DevOps World. And again, that will be in person. Now, we may also want to do one additional contributor summit, which would be an online contributor summit. Last uh -huh. year, we did two online contributor summits and had, had reasonably good responses, 20 plus people at each. 
uh, good involvement from the participants. So I'll, I'll certainly keep you copied on, on what, what's happening there and how it's evolving. What we'll, okay. what we'll do, John Mark, is we'll start with a Google Doc. It'll be a shared Google Doc proposing agenda topics. And, and then we enlist help from the community on which topics should be, should be on the list and which shouldn't. Now, to, yep. to further support that, Oleg mentioned yesterday in Governance Board that he's got a draft proposal to talk about Jenkins Roadmap for 2022 at CDCon. But since he physically cannot attend at CDCon, I offered that I would, could, would be willing to be voice on that or uh, that Alyssa and I could be voice on it. And, and so he was both open and ready for that. He thought, oh, yeah, that's great because he won't be in Austin, but Alyssa and I will be in Austin in June. Mark, do you think Bruno will be joining us? Is that too soon? I, I don't think he'll be in Austin in, in June. So, okay. so I, I, I would. Love I told to have him, him to be ready. ready, and he's not against it. Okay, good. Yeah, I, I've I've got to I've got to do some checking to see. My hunch is it may be premature to bring him in, but let me let me give some more thought to that. It's a good question. Yeah, I, I asked him to get travel ready, so Very to check good. his passport, and and so normally for for us it's just requesting in the ESTA which is just uh, so that, but I'm, I'm going to check how, how he feels uh, in his ex exploration and so. Great. Okay, I'll update the notes here uh, with what we discussed about, and then I'll send out the recording and the minutes um, on the community page. Good. Thank you. Well done. Thanks. Bye-bye.